Hi, welcome everybody. It's uh, great to see people from all parts of the world. Uh, wanna, so uh, welcome. We're going to go ahead and go live here. Hey, you're on. Yeah, you're on, correct? I'm on TV. Yeah, yeah. You're okay. you're broadcasting live, as they so, say. So, uh, uh, so as Paul said, you know, I I had this idea to set up a group practice for, uh, you know, instead of just practicing with people locally here, uh, people all over the world. Uh, Bruce has taught a number of teacher trainings in this set. Uh, so there are a bunch of teachers that he's certified and also uh, Paul Cavell and Bill Ryan and um, Jamie Dibden and I have also taught some teacher trainings. So there are a lot of people out there teaching and uh, uh, hopefully some of those people join and some of their students and some of the people uh, uh, who've been practicing for a while and also it's great if you haven't practiced the set you know you can you can just follow along as best you can uh, or just practice what you know uh, with the group so anyway uh, welcome and happy to have everybody here uh, so let's get started uh, and we'll start out with stirring now for those of you who don't know the set I'm not gonna I'll be saying a few things as we move along but this isn't really a teaching course. It's more of a practice session. So anyway, we'll just take a minute or two for, to let everyone stand up and start to settle and practice. So with this stirring, just loosen up the body, relax, get your breath going, and change directions of the stirring. Now I'm going to be counting, as usual, we're going to be doing a set of 20 of each move. Uh, but you can go at whatever speed that you want and just change along with me so we're you know, more or less all doing the same move together. We're going to be doing several sets, right? Change circle direction again. So uh, especially if you haven't practiced this that much or you're not used to long practices, then just take it easy. Do the first set. Don't put too much, uh, too, no need to put too much into it. And I should say also, if you're tired at the end of the first set, take a break. Join us again for the third set if you feel like it. But you don't have to do the whole thing with us. But if you can follow along through the whole thing, that's fantastic. So anyway, stirring and start to get your hands, if you can, to connect to the energy below the floor. Stir the energy below the floor. And then we'll start with movement number one. And like I said, just make this first set easy. Just use the movements to start to relax, soften the body so that your movements become smoother and easier. Your body relaxes.
And next time the hand gets to the top, we're going to transition into movement number two. Just a few reminders for those of you who who are practicing, who've done this before. Try to get your elbow to turn towards the floor. Try to have the central line of your body face the same direction as your hand as you flick. And remember the nature of the flick, soft, relaxed, And especially for this first one, you don't have to do a big exaggerated motion, just a release. Bring the hands down and we'll start movement three. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed and down. All right. Sometimes when you get the hands to go around the back, the shoulders tighten up a lot. So relax. Just try to get everything to go smooth. and switch legs. Try to keep the back straight as you're leaning forward. And when you come back up, try to stand up straight, stand up in the leg, stand up in the claw. And to help you relax, release the shoulders as you lean over, let the arms fall out of the body. And gravity is your friend, so the weight of your arms, let gravity lightly pull them out to help loosen up and release the back. And we're going to do one more, number three. Down and up and then step the feet together and we'll start movement number four.
There's lots of different things you can focus on in movement number four and in the set in general. And for now, as we're taking this for first set, just to warm up, loosen up the body, get the blood flowing. And let's just focus on getting the weight to shift to roll onto one side and roll back to the other side and try to have that motion be smooth and continuous. And even though you might be looking out towards the direction that you're extending the arm and that you're turning, you wanna keep the eyes soft and relaxed. Just relaxing the eyes does a lot for relaxing and softening the whole nervous system, the whole body. And remember, none of the moves have to be perfect, but we're going for flow and relaxation during this first set. And transition into movement number five. And just like in movement number two, when we also did a flick, you want the flick to be sudden, smooth without tension in it. You try to make the flick too dramatic and often it's you, you kind of feel that you put tension into the body instead of letting go of tension. So let the Heels come up. They don't have to come up that high. Let them drop towards the floor. If you've been practicing for a while and your balance is good, you can pick the heels up higher and release, but it's really not necessary. Try to get the fingers to draw all the way into a beak so that they're touching when they're in front of the dandian, and then they let go. And one more flick. Then draw the hands into sword fingers. Go back and forth around the daimai or the belt meridians in the middle of the body. And when the hands get to the left and the right channel, one's going to go up and one's going to go down. Mm -hmm. 
Try to keep a bend in the elbows, a bend in the knees. So even though the elbow's straightening, it's not going to a locked position. You're in that 70% zone where the body can stay nice and relaxed. And especially in the hands coming up above the shoulders, above the head. You want to really watch for the shoulders. Make sure the shoulders stay relaxed and down. If you can, as the hands coming up above, the shoulder blades dropping down the back so that your shoulders not rising up. And even though both feet are staying flat on the floor, you can put a little bit of pressure into the ball of the foot on the hand that's above the head and on the heel of the foot, that the hands below the, uh, pointing down below the floor. Just that pressure, little pressure will help to move the energy up and down the body. And one more. And bring the hands back down, meeting in the Dandian, in front of the Dandian. And breathe, pulse. Try to get your energy coming in and out of the, out of the belly. And then we'll start movement number seven. Remember, just try to have, make a nice, easy flow. Don't worry about the movement being too perfect. Try to have the hands go out on a diagonal, release, and then draw back in on a diagonal so that both hands meet in the middle and the belly at the same time, and then go the other direction.
And again, for the last few, relax the eyes, relax the shoulders, relax the body. Just turn, shift your weight, release back to the middle. Try to have all the movements be smooth and easy. And this is going to be the last flick. Bring the hands back into the belly. Release the sword fingers and pulse in the belly a few times. Let everything settle a little bit. I'm just going to back up a little bit. I think somehow I've been walking forward a little bit. Coming too close to the camera. So pulse in the belly, and then let your hands come to the side and start stirring again. Let the hands relax and get soft. And very lightly, open and close the hands. Open and close the whole body a little bit as you're stirring. So you're sitting in the claw, opening up. And then with your hands, try to get a sense of reaching down, extending down below the floor. And again, stirring the energy below the floor. And if you can also with your hands, with your arms moving, try to have a sense of stirring all of the energy around your body and your etheric field. Connect below the floor. And in this round, if you can, try to focus on tracing the lines that you trace, tracing the channels that you trace in Dragon and Tiger. So the one hand's going to come around to the inside of the leg. You're going to trace up the inside of the leg, up the torso on the side of the body, and then down. Down to the outside of the leg down the outside of the leg. So you can just keep your mental focus on the one side of the body, trying to trace those lines, move energy through the Wei Chi, if you can.
and make sure that you then focus on the other side of the body. Trace the lines on the other side. Down the side of the body, around to the outside of the leg, down the outside of the leg to the floor, up the inside of the leg, up the side channel, and have the hand turn over. The next time the hand get, one hand gets to the top, turn. We're in movement number two now. And remember the channels that you're tracing in movement number two. Just as a little reminder, right, if I'm focusing on my right side, I'm going to come up the inside of the leg, and this time up the center of the body to the in front of the heart. And then from the heart, I'm going to trace the line over to the shoulder's nest, trace it through the arm all the way till I reach the tips of the fingers, release. And then from the armpit, down the outside of the body, down the leg, down to the floor, around to the inside of the leg, and up. Up the center, center to the side in front of the shoulder, out to the tips of the fingers. Release. So as you're tracing these lines, you're still trying to relax the body and have a sense of flow. And make sure that you trace after tracing one side for a few, then you focus on the other hand. If you've been practicing for a while and you're able to trace both, then that's fine. Do both at the same time. And one more flick. And we'll go into movement number three. So trace the channel of the Dai Mai channel around the body, back to the Ming Mun, around to the uh, Dandian and the belly, then to the Kwa, down the leg on both sides, up the leg on both sides, to the Kwa, the Dandian. Try to keep your hands soft and relaxed so they can feel and have a sense of connecting to the body. And 
And next time you come up to the Dandian, switch legs and trace the path on the other side, all the way from below the floor, coming up the leg, up the thigh, to the qua, the Dandian, around to the Mingman on the spine in the back. Trace around those pathways towards the front again, and then qua, and then down and up the leg. Bring the feet together, back and forth around the daimai, and then transition to movement number four. And again, try to get the body to become smooth and even, just have a flow back and forth. Make sure that as one arm's coming in, the other's got arms going out so the elbows are moving together. One's bending, the other's extending. Fingers draw into a beak. And as they draw in, you're tracing the line with your mind, with your body moving across the body from one side to the other, out past the hand, and back into the hand through the body. And then both hands out, draw them back into the armpit, down the body, below the floor, and move in number five. In the second set, if you find that your body's loosened up and easy, then you can put a little bit more oomph into the flick. But the more oomph that you put into it, the more you really have to focus and, and get the body 
to stay soft and relaxed. The advantage to a little bit more oomph in the flick is that you release a little bit more stagnant chi. But if you go overboard and you put tension in the body, then you're not really releasing the stagnant chi. You're not really helping your body as much. So try your best to relax. Let go. And then in terms of chasing, tracing channels, just a reminder, drawing up the inside of the legs, up to the Dandian, from the Dandian around the Dai Mai, to the Ming Mun and back, from the Ming Mun back around to the Dandian. And then when you release, you just let it drop down, release down through your legs. One more flick, release, and draw the fingers, sword fingers, and move in number six. So number six, again, just focusing on one, tracing one side of the body is probably easier. So we'll start at the bottom, come around to the inside of the leg, up the inside of the leg, just like in movement number one, up the, the side channel to the shoulder's nest, then come over to the shoulder, up the neck, past the ear to the top of the head, then the hand turns over and releases. So trying to get the fingers to have a sense of touching, drawing up the inside of the leg, drawing up the side channel, connecting up the neck, pointing to the top of the head, and then from the top of the head, drawing all the way up to the top of your etheric body, projecting, and then back to the top of the head, past the ear, shoulder, down the torso, on the side, over to the outside of the leg, down the outside of the leg, below to the edge of your etheric body, below the floor, and that's when you project And then focus on the other side, tracing the lines.
So for those of you who haven't done it, or for those of you who have, as a reminder, all of this tracing the lines with the hands, that's the main focus in Dragon and Tiger. In this Qigong set. You're trying to get the hands to connect with the Wei Qi just below the surface of the skin or along the line of the skin is okay too. And have a sense of moving energy along those lines. Let's do one more. And bring the hands back into the Dandian. Pulse, bring the pull in and out of the Dandian. Try to get the fingers to have a sense of connecting into the belly. And then movement number seven. So the path that you're tracing in movement number seven, and think of it starting in the Dandian, starting there. And then from there, down to the qua, around to the outside of the leg, down the outside of the leg to the foot, below, flick, and draw back up the inside of the leg. To the qua, diagonally come into the middle of the belly at the Dandian, Diagonally to the shoulder's nest. And release. So try to connect the hands to the body. Trace that pathway as best you can. And just like in the other moves, the flick wants to be sudden, but relaxed. Turning the body, releasing. Turning the body. Releasing. And let's do one more fleck.
draw the hands back into the belly, into the dandian. The hands pulse in and out of the belly. Before we start the next set, just pulse a few times. Let everything smooth out. Relax your body, relax your face, your shoulders, your eyes, your hands. Then let the hands come to the sides and start stirring again. Now, like I said in the beginning, if anyone's tired, if you had enough, feel free to sit. You can sit and watch. But if you still feel like you, you have some energy to practice, then keep going. If you're on the edge, you can keep going, but just make the last set a really light one, easy. And connect the hands below the floor, stir. Go one direction, stir the other direction. Try to let everything in your body go soft and fluid. And then we're going to start movement number one. And if you're able to trace the pathways, do that. And at the same time, soften the body. Relax your eyes. Let everything go easy. And as your hands are moving, try to get the stepping in your feet, however you know how to do it. If you can, try to get the sinking down one side to cause the raising up the other. And you end up with pressure on the ball of the foot in one side and the heel of the foot in the other.
And on the next time the hand reaches the top, we'll transition to movement number two. Try to make sure the back foot is pivoting on the ball, turning to face the same direction that your center line and your arms are. Try to get the elbows to come out of the body a little bit so they're in front of you. Try to have the release flick and continue. Release and then a continued release. One more flick. And transition to movement number three. Down the leg, come back up, and then change legs. One more time, down and up.
and movement number four. So in movement number four, some of you may have heard before, right? This being a mixture of a Taoist and Buddhist Qigong set, right? That you can in this, aside from doing the physical motions, moving the chi, you can also in this move, as you're extending outwards, send out whatever you want to help balance the world or sense of compassion. Right right now, as everybody knows, the world's kind of a little bit of a crazy point right now. I mean, I know there are a lot of people who uh, are not having the smoothest of emotions. So if you can, just for the last few of these, as you're releasing outwards, send whatever you can out try to help balance the energy of the world. And then bring the hands back in, down the body. Up the inside of the legs. And we're into movement number five. So number five, right? It's the big one to flush out toxins from your body. Anything that you feel stuck, bound in your body, 
let it release. any sense of stagnancy anywhere, anything that you feel. And we'll do one more release. Hands come into the sword fingers. And movement number six. Try to trace the pathways. And release. And the best that you can, try to have a sense of even release from the hand that's projecting upwards and the hand that's projecting downwards. And one more flick. And then bring the hands back into the belly. Find your Dandian. Let your mind relax. Try to drop your awareness down into your belly. And then turn.
each time you come back, your mind settles in your belly. And if you can, your mind settles in your belly and something, some part of your awareness stays in your belly, even as you do this whole move. And these last few that we're gonna do, just let everything go easy. Don't do them too perfectly. Just start to get your energy to settle. Draw your hands back into the Dandian. Release the sword fingers. Pulse in and out. Let everything settle. And then by very lightly drawing your hands in, cupping your hands, draw everything from your feet, the fingers, the toes, the top of the head. Draw your energy into your belly as best you can. Then close your eyes. Let everything that's moving around in the belly, let it go calm, let it relax. Let it go easy. And then, however you can, absorb what you can into the Dandian. When you feel like you've absorbed what you can, again, let everything in the belly soften. Go smooth and then let that energy in the belly spread out through the body to the top of the head, the tips of the fingers, the tips of the toes. I'm trying to keep Everything smooth inside the body. Let your eyes open very slowly so that you're not shocking the inside of the system. Okay. Uh, I want to say thank you very much, everyone who's joined us. Uh, I know there are some people that have 
logged in from the middle of the night in some parts of the world. And uh, uh, I think it's really great that we have a lot of people practicing together, hopefully helping to create a little balance in your own personal life, but also in general out to the rest of the world who as things seem to be going a little bit crazy. So I hope everything, everyone's safe and doing well. And uh, thank you again for joining. Cheers, cheers. Thanks a ton, Craig. Um, guys, we're going to keep the chat open for just a little while. I know you might be winding down. And it always feels wrong to just hit that end meeting uh, button right after everybody's been practicing for a while and getting their bearings. Um, so, yeah, if you want to hang out with us a little while, I'll try and respond to you in the, in the chat. And if you're taking off, have an awesome day. We hope that uh, this practice was beneficial. And we're just so glad that you could join us. We hope to see you in person sometime soon. Um, if you can make it to Colorado when all this sequestration and quarantine ends, um, there's nothing like sharing good chi with good folks. So we really appreciate you being here. We'll try and do some more of these. Um, I think we've got a lot of people who have been asking about a replay or recording of this particular practice. I think what we'll do is probably put it up for a limited time on YouTube <clears throat> so that it can be a practice resource for you. Um, I don't think we'll be able to download it into anyone's account or anything. I think we'll, this was just kind of an informal practice session, but I think we might do more of them. Um, we had a great response today. It looked like we, at the, at the peak of, of the sessions, there's still nearly 500 people on the line right now, and at one point up to about 600 worldwide. So, um, so super cool to have you all here, especially uh, from all these different time zones and all these different circumstances. So. Uh, anyway, just really special and really cool. So thanks a lot for being here. Um, like I said, we'll hang out in the chat a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and, I mean, if anybody wants, uh, the blue hands are still up from earlier. If you still want to say hi, I'll click on a couple of you guys just to say hello. Uh, if you don't want your hands still up, you can just click the button to say lower hand um, if it's just accidentally still up there. But, you know, if you want to say hi, um, I'll go ahead and click on a few of you folks and... Uh, Hopefully the rest of you have, have had a really good practice and are winding down nicely. Um, let's see what we've got up here. Uh, a few p folks were asking about uh, what to do after the practice, like how to integrate. And basically, um, you just let everything settle. You know, you go into your dandian, you let everything store as best it can. And then you just go on with your day. Just don't dwell on it too much. It's like eating a good meal. You eat the meal, and then you walk away from the table. And you just kind of enjoy what that's helped you do for the rest of the day. So, so as soon as you've done your practice, just enjoy it and just kind of let it go and just go through your day nice and smooth. Um, all right, let's see. Well, um, Bob Hughes. Bob, I'm gonna, I didn't get to your, to your blue hand, your raised hand earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and unmute you and let you talk here for a second. Um, if you see something on your side, Bob, um, it should say unmute. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. I think Bob just took off. Let's see. All right. Well, let's try Milan. Milan, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you now if you want to say hi. And sometimes these hands are just up from earlier. So if you're not there still, that's fine too. But uh, Milan, if you happen to still be there and want to say hi, you'll just have to hit unmute on your side and then we'll be able to hear you. And this is just kind of a nice little warm down from the practice, um, just to kind of keep the community action going. Um, the, the chat room, forgive me if I'm not getting to all your comments, it, it's basically just a continuous flow of comments on my side. Um, it, I, a lot of you won't be able to see them because it's coming to only the panelists, but it's almost going through too fast for me to be able to, uh, to respond to you individually. So, you know, we'll just try and hit the highlights and, um, and just extend our sincere thanks. Okay, well, it looks like uh, Milan is probably not still on the line. Um, let's see. How about uh, Eliza? Eliza Steinberg. Let's see. Eliza, if you're still there and would like to say hi, then um, just let us know. I see on your... Hi there. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'm your wife. and see the I can go back to the stage. Because I'm really happy to do this. 
Yeah, it's a crazy world right now and the flights are, 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 are extra crazy. So I'm very glad that we could reach you uh, where you are. Where are you? Uruguay, South America. In Uruguay. Very, very, very south. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. That's, that's fantastic to know. Uh, well, well, thanks so much for joining in. We're glad that we could reach you in this way and uh, maybe at some point we'll meet you in person. Thanks very much. Okay. Let's see. If any of you have any questions about the Dow space, that, just so you know, I mean, this, this is kind of a special spot. Um, I'd love to, right now we're full of, you know, live streaming equipment, but um, we're in a beautiful spot in, next to the Rocky Mountains. Uh, the whole idea of this place is that Bruce really wants to pass on as much of his lineage as he can as he's hitting these golden years of his life. And in order to do that, he needs a place where he can teach on a regular basis uh, and start teaching things he's never been able to before because now we have a dedicated space, a protected space that is um, completely absorbed in the passing of these valuable teachings to the world and to the individuals who want to learn them. So this is a real special spot and we're hoping that it grows over time. We just held our first two weeks of classes when COVID started shutting everything down, but that's not going to stop us. We've still had a great uh, response from our live streams and from our students here in Colorado and from all of you all around the world. Uh, so our, our mission here is to try and bring as much of what's happening in this space to you wherever you are and to have this space available to you whenever you can come to us. So uh, anyway, we're, we're just really happy to see how it develops and, and are looking forward to, to meeting you over the years and, and providing you with things that benefit your life. So um, let's see. Uh, Let's go to Steve. Steve, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you talk on your side. I uh, don't have a last name for Steve, but Steve, if you want to say hi, um, feel free to say hello. I've unmuted your blue hand. We'll give you a minute to, to say hello. Did you, um, did you want to do any questions or anything like that? Or you just want to let it go? Do you feel like it? I, mean, I, I, can, I can do that. I just don't want to open it up if you don't want to. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so guys, uh, if, if you have a few questions, Craig's still in the room here for a little bit. Um, so if you've got a few little things, uh, you can ask and we'll see if we can get to them. Uh, we're only going to stay on the line for another couple minutes here, but, uh, but you know, if you feel like it, uh, he's still in the room and willing to answer a couple questions. So, um, let me know if you'd like to like to ask something. Let's see. Bob Hughes. Bob, I didn't get to your question. Um, allow to talk. Bob, if you're still there, you should be able to, to unmute on your side. Hey, Bob. I can hear you loud and clear. Good to hear you. I'm in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, thanks to Craig and you and Bruce and the originator. Of Dragon and Tiger, Zhang Ji Wow. Yeah. Or something like that. Zhang Ji Wa. Zhang Ji Wa. Yeah. She, yeah. An amazing powerhouse of a woman uh, who taught this to, to Bruce uh, in Beijing. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Bob. I, I appreciate you tuning in. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, practiced this since Bruce put out his first book in 2008. Oh, cool. And uh, I, I can vouch that uh, Craig has set the gold standard here today. <laughs> nice. Hey, thank, thank you. Nice. Uh, I really appreciate, uh, you know, everyone that's out there practicing the set. I think it's great. And uh, also, you know, everyone who's, you know, joined in and practiced together. I mean, I think that's a great thing. So thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Take care. You Wonderful. Too. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate hearing from you. Um, Let's go ahead. If anybody's got a question, uh, uh, I'm sorry about, I don't know, I, I'll pronounce this name probably poorly, but um, Lieselot Hacker Schwartz. Um, we'll go ahead and unmute you if you have a question or you'd like to say hello. Um, hello. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Can you hear me? I'm so we, yes, we, we can, can hear you. Loud and clear, yes. It's near University of Florida, a little small little town, and Yes, it was great. Oh, fantastic. I 
I got this link from Sabina Herkommer from Ulm. Yes, I know Sabina. She's, oh. she's a great teacher. So, uh, yes, she's my teacher. Fantastic. And I went for just a year or so with her. And she told me this an hour before, and I started, and it was so great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really glad you joined and, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. say hello to Sabina. She's a fantastic yeah, teacher from, for anyone in the area. Uh, like I said before, at the beginning, it's like there are a lot of teachers around the world. There's certainly lots of places where it's hard to find a teacher, but if you have someone near you uh, and you can go check them out in person, uh, you'll get a lot out of it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take cool. care. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you for joining. All right. Um, Ken Baker. Ken, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Hi, Craig. Hello. Hi, I'm uh, from the north of England, and um, I haven't done Dragon and Tiger for a few years, actually about 10 to 15 years. So it was great to get back to it again. Fantastic. And, uh, reconnect with it. And uh, I'm not quite doing the meridian tracing yet, but I'm just getting the movements in a relaxed way, and then I'll move on to the, the tracing. Fantastic. Uh, question I wanted to ask you uh, yeah. is, is there a, um, a seated version? Yes. The, this set uh, can be done altered lots of ways, but uh, you know, without going through the whole practice, you can certainly sit down. If you're doing it sitting, you want to try to keep all the same posture points, but you can certainly do movement one, still tracing the pathways, movement two, trying to turn the body, flick, still the arms are making the same shape. Uh, so yeah, this can be, the form can be adjusted to, to sitting down. Um, and in general, uh, you know, it's a good thing to learn for anybody, but uh, you know, because you never know when, you know, you're gonna be tired or you hurt your leg or whatever, uh, but it's a great thing to practice. Uh, and I've also, taught some people who you know had serious illness illnesses or were elderly and you could do this sitting you can do it laying down there's lots of ways to practice uh, and in general uh, it's a good idea not to try to make it too perfect but do it in a way that's uh, you know is beneficial to you and uh, not straining your body it's the whole sets based on relaxation so anyway yeah I'm glad you joined us and uh, Hope you keep up, can keep up with the practice and, uh, you know, best of luck. I, def I definitely will after today. Thanks, Greg. Thank Thanks you. Bye. Bye. Um, so I'll just go ahead and take a question out of the, out of the chat, Craig. Okay. Um, there's somebody who was saying they, they have a lot of trouble visualizing and they feel like it's a hindrance to their practice. They're saying, how do I visualize better? And we, we handle that a little differently inside yeah. of this system. So if it, you just talk a little bit about that. In this this uh, is David Spartaco, by the way. Okay, hello, hello, nice. Thanks for joining and logging in. Ideally, uh, you're not trying to visualize in this set. You're trying to, right, there's uh, all kinds of different ways of doing it, but uh, your hands are basically following lines. So you learn what those lines are that you're tracing. And I just gave some as a reminder in the class, but you know, in movement one as an example, you're, trace, you're coming up the inside of the leg, up the torso, down the torso, down the outside of the leg. So that's the pathway that you're following. And your hand moving along that pathway hopefully will cause something to move inside the body. Uh, and if you're doing it quite well, if you've done some practice and done a little bit of training, your hand wants to have a sense of feeling, connecting with right the hand, has a sense of reaching outside of it until you have a sense of being able to touch uh, something on the surface of the skin or a little bit below. And then as you hand, move your hand along the body, you're causing something to move through. But you're really looking for a felt sensation rather than a visualization. Um, but uh, uh, that's as much as I can really go into it in this short period. But um, Anyway, do your best, and uh, if, you, if you have a hard time feeling, 
visualization is a possibility, but it's really not the method of, uh, of the set, ideally. So thank you. Great. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and go to another question online. Um, NB, just the, the letters NB. Um, okay. You've been unmuted on your side if you want to say hello, NB. Um, or if your hand is just still up by accident, that's fine too. I get it. Sometimes if people are on cell phones and stuff, it's hard to uh, hard to to tell if you hit the button or not. So I'll give you another couple seconds, and then um, if you're not there, I'll just kind of go ahead and move on to someone else. Um, and it looks like maybe you're not there anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and mute you back up. Um, all right, and um, Eliza, did we do Eliza Steinberg? I believe we did, didn't we? Yeah. Let's see. I think we're kind of running out of our, our raised hands then, so okay, that's good. Um, and we probably should start winding up everything yeah. anyway. So all right, um, thanks well, for sticking around a little bit longer, Craig. Oh, my, no problem. And uh, thank you again. Thank you everyone for joining. And uh, if you have questions and want to learn more, then uh, you know the Energy Arts has some products. Uh, but really, the best way to learn is from a live teacher. If you can get to someone near you in your area, then that's great. And uh, um, so anyway, best of luck. Thanks for practicing with, uh, together and, uh, hope your day goes well. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining everybody and, um, appreciate, uh, appreciate seeing you guys. Um, thanks for joining in and, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're so glad that you could be here. We want to do some more of these things. Um, be looking in your email for the next one that we schedule. And uh, like Craig mentioned, uh, you know, we do have things available for you to continue learning. Um, Bruce has done a lot of that type of thing. Bill Ryan has done some great courses on Dragon and Tiger. And we have instructors all over the world. A um, few of you are already learning from them. Um, I think someone just mentioned Sabina in Ger Germany. And there's so many wonderful instructors all over the world. So you can see a list of instructors on the Energy Arts site um, at energyarts.com. And in the meanwhile, thanks so much for being here. And we'll just see you next time. Hopefully we can meet you face-to-face -face at the Dow Space in the future and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.